we got all of our bookmarks up and then let's go to, we, go, we got our audiences up, right? So let's, let's click on audiences. We got our pixel up on our pages, um, right? Are all the pixels up on the pages? They are, right? They should yes. be. Yes. Yeah. And then our audiences should be based on the landing page view or the website visitor and then the lead and then also those who scheduled a, a call. So we, we should have at least three audiences set up. Let's see what we got. Yeah, it's taking a sweet time. Okay, so we got four. We got people who scheduled, people who downloaded, which is a lead, and then landing page visitors, and then the video. That's right. Okay, cool. So the video. Okay, so yeah, so audiences are, are good to go. Um, all of them are, are green, and they say ready. So those are perfect. Mm -hmm. So now let's hit the, let's go back to the folder at the top, ads manager, and let's look at the conversions real quick. So custom conversions. Perfect. So both of these are active. So people who scheduled, those are those are leads, and then and then and then inspection guide, or actually inspection guide leads, and then people who scheduled. Okay, perfect. So so those are set uh -oh. up. Those are set up. So as we go in and start to run ads. Oh, there it, you are. <laughs> oh, oh, did yeah. I cut out? Yeah, it cut out again. Damn, I'm sorry. Okay. So, oh. so both of these, both of these are active now. Um, and now as we go in and run conversion ads. It's that conversion that you're shooting for, inspection guide leads. Mm -hmm. So that's the page, that's the conversion that you're trying to get people to. So that's magic right there. So our conversions are set up, our pixels set up, our audiences are set up. So now what we got to do is just, is just learn multiple ad sets. So now we have to learn how to go through the actual ad setup and how to set them up and how to set up multiple ad sets. So let's, let's do that. Let's click the dots to the left and then um, let's go to ads manager. Perfect. And the billing, everything is set. We, we covered all that, right? Billing, you put a new credit card up, right? Is I all that? I think so. Let, let's check that. Let's just double check that. We should have did that, on our, did that on our first call, but I might've missed it. Let's always just double check because always good to know your billing date. That's, most important. So let's click on the dots again and let's just click on billing. Perfect. Okay, cool. So ads updates on business resources, resource for business effective. Okay, so you can exit out of that. Okay, so this is our account. So now what we're going to do is we're going to click on, we're going to, we're going to click on payment settings to the right and let's check the actual date. You don't, you don't want to, you know, get a surprise bill from Facebook, you know? Yeah, not really. Yeah, not really. Well, it's not even a bill. They just end up hitting your card. So mm -hmm. that's the card on file. That's your billing date. So what I always like to do, is I like to start my ads on that day. Mm -hmm. So therefore I can have a full 30 days before I pay a bill. You know, so yep. everyone's a little different, but like, for example, if you started ads right now, then you would obviously get a bill on October 6th. But I just like to space out my 30 days, like an actual 30 day run and just go from six to six. To me. You know, so... Right now, learning all the learning everything on the back end. Right now, learning everything about Kartra. I would spend this time doing that, and then and then October six, be ready to freaking launch. Mm -hmm. That's what I would do. And Sweet. then and then and then you just have a full month, you know, from October six yep. to November six. You won't get billed until November six. Mm -hmm. You know, and then let's change. Let's also update something real quick as well. Let's um right there at the bottom it says set your account spending limit. Go ahead and click on that. Set your account spending limit. And let's, let's just up that just for the hell of it. You're not going to spend this much at all, but try putting in, try putting in 5,000. <clears> you're not going to spend that much, nowhere near that. But you just don't want to, reach, <laughs> you don't want to reach the point where 
where you hit 85 bucks and your ad is happens to be doing very, very well, but then all of a sudden it shuts off because you reached your limit. Yeah. You know what I mean? So I always try to extend that as, as much as possible um, just so it, my ads don't stop. So, and, and mm -hmm. that's not going to happen to you anyways, because you'll be set in a calendar. Like the way I'm going to show you is you, the way I'm going to show you is you set the calendar um, when your ad starts and when your ad ends. So you won't worry, you won't have to worry about over budgeting, you know, so, but it's always good, just good to kind of change it right here. Okay, perfect. So you're good there. So if anything, maybe bookmark. Yeah, you have this part bookmark. Perfect. You already have this one bookmark. Okay, cool. So then now yeah, let's spend some time figuring out how in the heck we're going to run an ad. So let's hit the dots to the left. And this is where the magic happens. This is where we run ads, hit ads manager. And this is where it all begins. So we'll spend, we'll spend probably 30 minutes on this part and, and it should, it should make some sense. So once we come in here, this is the dashboard. Okay. So as we click on that green button, don't click on it yet. Let me just kind of give you a little bit more little info on this dashboard. Um, but as we click on that green button, that green button create, all it's going to do is walk us through these three tabs, mm -hmm. campaigns, ad sets, and ads. Those are the three different tabs. Those are the three different steps. The campaign we're going to, and, 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 and also we're going to title each one. So the campaign will title it just like you have titled over here. You have new campaign, you have, you have post 30 seconds of home inspections, greatness. So those are your titles. So as mm -hmm. you start to set future ads, you want to be, you want to be very specific on these titles. So when you're looking at the dashboard, you can automatically look at that ad and know which one it is. So you want to try to be specific with the title for sure. Not a long title, just a short description, you know, of, of the actual, um, like for example, right here, me looking at 30 seconds of home inspection greatness. I'm looking at that on the first tab. I'm looking at that under the campaign. I wouldn't be able to tell what type of ad that is. Now I'm not talking mm -hmm. about the image. I'm not talking about the video. I'm not talking about what you wrote on the ad. I'm talking about the type of ad. Was that a traffic ad? Was it a, was it a conversions ad? Was it an mm -hmm. engagement ad? Was it a video view ad? Was it a lead generation ad? That should be specified on this first tab, campaigns. So when I look at it I right should. away, I don't just see 30 seconds of home inspection greatness. I see conversions. Mm -hmm. So I know exactly what type of ad that is. That's a conversion ad. Okay, cool. And then I can put 30 seconds of home inspection greatness, but I, I want that word because that word is the campaign. The campaign is the objective. So that's that where you want to be specific is the title. So I don't have to dig in because I'm going to have to dig in. Now, now for me to know what type of ad that was, we're going to have to click and we're going to have to go into it and we're going to have to check. So it's just too many clicking. You know, I just want to be able to look at it from right here and know what ad that, that is, you know? So, and again, I'm not referring to the, yeah. to the image or the video or what you wrote. I'm just referring to the name of the campaign, which mm -hmm. objective. Watch. Yep. So, so now hit the green button. This is the first tab. This is campaign. Hit the green button. It's this right here. So this, this one of these words should be in that title. So okay. this is the first tab, campaign. So that's what I'm saying. So if I just look at 30 seconds of home inspection to greatness, I don't know what objective you went with. Yep. Right. You want to know that you want to be able to see it and say, okay, cool. That was a video view ad or look at it. Okay, cool. That was a brand awareness ad. You know what I mean? Mm -hmm. But from this point on what you'll be running are conversion ads. So we set up our custom conversion. Our custom conversion is based around the thank you page. That's the page that we're telling Facebook that we want people to get to is the thank you page. That's conversions. Mm -hmm. Okay. So let's cancel this part real quick. Let's go back up to the dashboard. Let's cancel. Yeah, you can X that out. So now this campaign, the first tab, that's the objective. Write out whatever objective that is. And most of the time it's going to be conversions. Okay. So mm -hmm. you'll name that in the title and we'll see it right there on the first tab. Click on the second tab in the middle. That second tab, ad set, as we click on the green button and we go through the setup process, we're first going to choose the first one, which is campaigns, and we're going to go with conversions. As we go to the next step, this is the next step, ad sets. 
So in the next step, in this second step, this is where we choose our budget. This is where we choose our targeting, our demographics. This is where we, this is where we target custom audiences. So if we want to target everyone who landed on our website, this is where we would put it. It's all in the ad sets. That is the second tab. The third tab to the right, and so, so what I'm, so, so also in the, in the title, so right here in ad sets in the middle, don't click yet, right here in the, in, in the title, again, we have the same thing titled. We have 30 seconds of home inspection greatness. It's the same, mm -hmm. same title. We don't yeah. want to put the same title. So right here, what I would put, and again, it's just a brief description, but I would, I would put something about the targeting. So if I'm targeting a county, I would put the county name right there. If I'm targeting an outside city, I'd put that city right there. If I'm targeting people who follow Home Depot because I'm targeting homeowners and, I'll, and, 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 mm -hmm. all, and people that are following Home Depot are likely to be homeowners, I would put the word Home Depot right there. Just so I can look at it, look at it from a 30,000 square foot view and know what ad that is. Know the targeting, know the demographics, and the brief title. Make sense? Because if you don't do it here and label it, you're going to have to click on it go into it, look at who you're targeting, look at the demographics, look at the age, look at the city. When I could have just wrote it right there briefly mm -hmm. and known it just by looking at it. Yep. And this, this is important when you really start, to, when you come here and you see freaking 15, 15 ads right there, you're mm -hmm. not going to want to click on every single one of them to see which freaking targeting you're hitting. You know what I mean? You're, you want to be able to read it here and know it. Make sense? That makes sense, yeah. Okay. So, and then the third tab is the ad. That right there is your image or your video. And so, again, what we see is 30 seconds of home inspection greatness. Maybe mm -hmm. put, the, put, the, put, a, put a brief description of what video that was, which, which, that, which clearly that's what it was right there. So, this would be a perfect yep. title for this. This ad was the 30 seconds of home inspection greatness video. Yep. Right? So that, that part title, makes sense. yeah, that, that title would make sense here. So this is where I'm labeling and titling what ad I'm running, whether it was an image of a, of a lady holding a freaking ladder or whether it was a 30 second video greatness, home, home inspection greatness, whatever it is that should be titled there, right there. Okay. So those are the three tabs and that's what we're going to go through as we click the green button. And as we set up everything, this is where you'll see everything. And again, you can click on it, go into it, open it up. Um, but another thing that you're not going to want to do, you're not going to want to do, what you're not going to want to do is once you set up an ad and you go through the entire process and you click to submit for review to go live, you don't want to come in here and change anything. Once you set an ad, you can change it before it goes live. But once the ad goes live, try not to touch it. Yep. So if your ad goes live and you're targeting a specific county and all of a sudden you're like, shit, that's not the county. I need to target a different mm -hmm. one. Don't come Whoops. in here and change it. What you'll want to do is just shut it off and set up a new one. Yep. Okay. Okay. So that's really, that's, that's a golden nugget right there. Um, that's more important than, than it sounds. Okay. Cause, cause once the system is running, it's like a machine. Once the machine, once you turn on the machine, the machine is going. But the moment you try to change the path of a machine, it, it, it either slows it down or it throws it off, off track. So same with this machine over here, Facebook machine. Just shut it off. And, and the way you'll shut it off is you'll shade the, the blue to gray. And mm -hmm. you'll do it on each tab. So right here, shade that blue to gray. And then, and then click on the middle tab and see if we see a blue one there, yep. shade that to gray, and then click on the first tab and shade that to gray. That's how you fully turn off an ad. Do all three at, the, at one after another, like just like that. Mm -hmm. That's how you turn off an ad, okay? So now let's X out of the, the one selected, one selected, one selected. Let's X out of those three at the top, and then let's just simply go through the setup process let's 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 go through the, the the ad process so let's click the green button and this is where it all happens so we're going to go with conversions and then we're going to title 
hit that drop down right above the blue button, hit that drop down right there. Perfect. So this, we're going to just do a practice run right now. So this is the, these are the titles. So what we can do is just title one at a time. Let's just the campaign. We're going to go object. We're going to go object or we're going to go uh, conversions. So I would write the word conversions right there. Oh, I lost you again. I'm here. Oh, there you are. <laughs> okay, cool. So conversions, and then let's hit continue because we don't know the ad set title or the ad just yet. Mm -hmm. So let's click continue and let's just go to the next step. Okay, cool. So now we're in conversions or we're in the first, we're in the first tab still. So we're still in the campaign tab right here. We just have to go one extra step and, and verify or confirm if we're in an, a special ad category. So in your case, you're going to toggle that gray button, that gray circle to blue because you are in housing, you're targeting homeowners. Mm -hmm. So hit the drop down, click on that. And you're going to go with housing ads for real estate listings, homeowners insurance, mortgage loans, or other related opportunities. So remember, always go with that because if you don't go with that, your ad will get rejected. Okay. Okay. So always shut that to, or click that to blue and, and, and go with, um, go with housing. Okay. Perfect. So some of the ad sets in the campaigns do not comply with the requirements for this special ad query. Okay. So update ad sets. I think we have to check a box and verify something real quick. Let's click on that. Update ad sets. Okay, so um, some settings may change to help you comply with our advertising policy some audiences. Okay, so, so go ahead and click modify ad sets. Okay, good. You're good. That's all you had to do. Perfect. Interesting. <laughs> yeah, weird, right? It's super weird. Yeah. Just, but what, but what we didn't read is the freaking fine print of what the hell, you know, all that policy shit was all about, but nor, mm -hmm. did, nor do we need to know right now. Like it's not, it doesn't even matter. So, but you're good. You're good to go. So click on show more options. So this is the campaign objective. The campaign objective is conversions, um, campaign spending limit. We don't need it right there. So scroll down and then what we'll do down here, campaign budget optimization. This right here is new and this right here is super powerful. So what you're going to want to do is you're going to want to, you're going to want it all comes down to someone's budget, right? Whether it's five bucks a day, here's what you want to be thinking. You want to be thinking five bucks a day, 10 bucks a day, 15 bucks a day, or even 20 bucks a day, 20 bucks a day would be 600 a month. I don't think you really need to be, be that high just yet. You could probably roll out at 10 bucks a day and, and maybe look at 300 for the month, budgeting 300 bucks mm -hmm. for Facebook ads. And, and I always tell, tell people also, and I'm pretty sure I covered this the first time with you, but you always want to look at how much, how much you make per deal. Yep. So, so on one inspection, if we're making a good amount, you kind of want to put a good amount towards your Facebook ad. So if you're making, if you're making more than $300 per inspection, Yep. To budget at least 300 for this, you, you're going to want to do. Yep. So, so 10 bucks a day is kind of where, where I would suggest you, 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 you go, you know, so, so it's either 10 bucks a day, it's either 15 bucks a day or it's 20 bucks a day. Yep. And so if we roll out 10 bucks a day, we're going to set it right here at the campaign level campaign budget optimization so we'll put it there now let's scroll down let's click let's click on click on show more options but i don't i don't think there's anything else below that yeah so let, now let's click next so we set it up there the daily budget 10 bucks a day and then we hit next now with 10 bucks a day here's how you want to split test it and here's what multiple ad sets are all about so that's the call we're on today is it's multiple ad sets multiple ad sets is when you target multiple audiences. So for example, one audience would be targeting people who follow the Home Depot. Another audience mm -hmm. could be people who follow Lowe's, right? Like big, big brands, but we're targeting two different types of people. That's multiple ad sets. So rather than what, what a lot of people try to do is watch, scroll down, scroll down a bit, little more, little more, right? 
here where it says um, detailed targeting. So right there where it says detailed targeting below the blue button where it says gender and all, you have detailed targeting. Hit the edit right there to the right. What a, lot of, what a lot of people try to do is they'll try to put all the keywords, all the interests, the demographics, the behaviors, they try to load it all up right here. So right there, if you click inside that box, click right there, type in Home Depot. Yep. What is that part? Type in Home Depot. Home Depot. Yeah. What a lot of people try to do is they'll try to put in a bunch of different keywords right here. So... There, you should see you should see a drop down. Let's see. Go back. Type in Home Depot. No results found. Okay, there should it might be going a little slow. Um, because Home Depot. I mean, you should for sure maybe type in type in um type in Lowe's. See if Lowe's is there. I don't know why it's not pulling a drop down, but you should always see a drop down. Don't just type in the name. Always look for the drop down. Actually, you know what? You're in browse. That's what it is. Go to suggestions. So to the right, click on suggestions. See if you can type it in now. Actually, it's still. Go ahead and try typing in. Try typing in Lowe's. Suggestions. Do, do, do. Um, you know what? That's weird that those, those, what does it say right there? I can't read Select that. It's too small. Select the suggested tab or search for additional interest behaviors and demographics to add additional targeting criteria. Yeah. See, so suggestions, mm -hmm. I wonder why it's not, it's not highlighted or it's not bold. You should be able to click on it, but let's just type in, type in, um, because you can't type in homeowners. Type in homeowners and see if anything drops down. Uh, homeowners, you can't target this, the, the, the word homeowner. Yeah, it's going to pop up now. Yeah, see, there we go. Oh. Oh, where did it go? It stopped. Um, let's see. Home, home improvement, home appliances. So you, what we'll do is we'll look for these different type of keywords. And one place to find them, to find a good, a good targeting, is let's, let's – um, Leave this tab open. Let's open up a new tab at the very top. Let's go to a whole new tab and let's open up the ads manager. So let's go back to the ads manager and I'll show you how to kind of do some research to find, to find good, click on any one of them, to find good targeting. Here's what you can also do. So to the left, we'll click on the dots and then we're going to click on audience insights. This is leveraging Facebook, and this is just typing in certain keywords to find more keywords. So you can go ahead and X out of this. I'm going to give you a tour right now. If you type in your city, so right here you're in, you're in the United States. Let's X out of that, and let's just type in your county or type in, type in your, your city. Perfect. So let's choose that. And then the age, you can change the age if you want. Um, maybe increase it. Yeah, that'd be good. And then the interest, yeah, change that. And then, and then type, in, type in a keyword. Let's type in, let, maybe type in homeowner. Type in homeowner and see if anything, see there's the home. So it's the Home Depot. That's why we didn't see it because we were typing in Home Depot. It's the Home ah, Depot. The Home Depot the Home Depot. So if you type in the Home Depot, click on that, and it's going to show you, it's going to give you stats on, on, um, on whether we should target the age and gender. See, something's wrong with Facebook. There's a, there's a little hiccup because what it will pull, it'll pull the age and gender of, 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 the, of the followers and then the relationship status. So this just gives you more targeting. Should I target only? Well, so there we go. So here, this tells you, okay, 56% of women follow the Home Depot. So maybe as I'm setting up my ad, it wouldn't be a, a bad idea to maybe only target women. I think it went away. Can I click it now? Then it didn't do anything. 
You didn't yeah, see it? I, I was looking at it. If I unclick it, that pops up. Yeah, there you go. Actually, is that? I'm not okay. sure what that's showing. No, that's not the Home Depot. No, let's try. What if I type in Lowe's? Sam Lowe's, Lowe's Home Improvement. Uh, uh, nope. Yeah, there we go. Yeah, so let's, let's let it populate. What if it just takes a while for it to pop in? Yeah, it, it does. Because it's just pulling all the stats. So actually, and you know what? What you're doing here is you're, you're, you're going with work and employers. So that's what we don't want. We don't want, we don't want work or employers. We just want people who have an interest in that. So maybe hit that drop down, hit the interest, hit that. Yeah. X out of that. Cause that's going to pull up like, um, work yeah, we're not exactly. looking for employers. So hit the interest, the drop down right below all men, women above hit that drop down. Yeah. Right there. Hit. Okay. So, Okay, so I guess type try typing it again because it was pulling employers. We don't want to know who works for them. We just want to know who's. Let's try. Them. Okay, perfect. So let's let's let this thing populate. All this does it just gives us more ammo. Like if if mm -hmm. if women have if there happen to be more women following it, okay, maybe we just target women. If it's vice versa, or if it's people that are married, majority of people that follow. Home Depot happen to be married. Okay, well, maybe I should target married people in my ad, right? So it just kind of gives you, and then the page likes, click on page likes. This would give you um, the top pages that these types of people follow. So as I go and set up my ad, maybe I should, I should target those pages because people who follow those pages tend to follow and have an interest in Home Depot. And if anyone has an mm -hmm. interest in that, they possibly could be homeowners. So it's just ways to target. And this is supposed to give us a ton of information, but for some reason it's freaking out Pullman. It's not, um, I'm not liking us today. Okay, so, so now let's get rid of that home improvement and type in the Home Depot. And let's see if anything pulls the Home, yeah, Depot. Home Depot. <laughs> Browse interests. Okay, so so now we can scroll down and we can maybe tar and we can just look for different targeting. So again, if our home, if our if our I if our exact client is a, is a homeowner, then we'll come in here and look for different keywords that pertain to homeowners so home appliances maybe um home construction home improvement so see before before and this is new i would say let's just say six months six prior to six months ago you you could be you can come in here and type in homeowners and target homeowners mm -hmm. but that that's not possible anymore so that's why you have to at the beginning. You have to confirm the housing. You have to you have to click that button to blue. House hunting is probably pretty good. Oh, yeah. See, so house hunting, that could be that could be someone for sure. That and so multiple ad sets is when you're choosing one at a time. So mm -hmm. if our daily budget is ten bucks a day, Facebook is going to. We're gonna set up these. So let's just use these two as an example. Let's let's stop right here. Home improvement and house hunting. So let's mm -hmm. take out house hunting. So multiple ad sets is when you target multiple keywords individually. Okay. But it's all based on your budget. So if we're at 10 bucks a day, I would only test two interest. If you're at $15 a day, you test three interest. If you're at, mm -hmm. if you're at 20 bucks a day, you'll want to test four interest. So but again, five bucks per, per each one, five bucks per each one per day, but it's only for a few days because after you run it, let's just say you run it for five days mm -hmm. in five days, you're going to be able to come back and look at each one. And let's say we have, let's say we have four set up. One is home improvement. The other one is home gardening. The other one is home appliances. And the fourth ad set is, let's just say the home Depot in five mm -hmm. days, I'm going to have some numbers. We're going to have some analytics. We're going to have some reports to look at. In five days, 
the numbers are going to reflect. So let's say, for example, home improvement, we're getting leads for a dollar a lead. People are opting in, people are downloading your inspector, inspection guide, and we're getting the cost per result, the cost per lead at a buck. But the Home Depot, it's costing us $3.25 per result, per lead. So in five days, you're going to see these numbers, and then all you do is you shut off the other three. Mm -hmm. But the campaign budget optimization it's designed to only shoot that budget to, to the ad sets that are, that are performing. So it's not like Facebook's going to just throw spaghetti against the wall and see what sticks. They're yep. going to run it and they're going to, they're going to know which one is effective right away. And they're going to start putting all the money towards that one campaign. And then, and then the other three are not going to get any, any, any budget because those ones just aren't performing. And Facebook finds that out quick. Like, so within the first few days, you'll know which one out of four, in this case, one out of two, you'll know which one is performing. And, you, and, and, and then, mm -hmm. so the other one that's not, you just shut it off. And then, and then now you got $10 per day running on one interest, the winner. Yep. Does that makes sense? That's pretty cool. Yeah, yeah. So, so <sighs> right here, let's just do home improvement. Let's leave that. Let's, let's click out of that. So let's just say that's our one, our one interest. That's our one targeting keyword. Let's scroll down. We're going to leave it. Actually, you know what? Let's go to the very top because at the top, we missed a few things on the top. Let me, let me explain this part at the top. Um, new ad set name. So again, that's the title. So this in the title, what I'm going to put as a description is I'm going to put the age. I'm going to put the county of where I'm targeting, and I'm going to put the keyword. That's, that's what I would do for sure. So the age, 21 to 65, the county, and then the key word, perfect. That's the title of this, of this ad set name, perfect. That makes sense. So, so now the conversion event, not always will you see the green dot right there. X out that green dot. When you come in here, sometimes it's going to be empty. It'll be like that. It will just be empty. Mm -hmm. There'll be a, a, a red triangle. And so what you'll have to do is find your custom conversion which is right there, inspection guide leads. That's the conversion event you're gonna be using all the time. Okay, that right there. And so now cool. we scroll down. So now we're telling Facebook, hey man, don't just get us to the landing page. We're looking for people to get to that page. We're being very specific with Facebook. We're telling them 10 bucks a day, get people to that page. And that's the custom you know, conversion. So now we scroll down. And what I do is I, I set a start and end date. So we have a daily budget, the start and then the end date, just so we don't go, you know, just so we don't go over budget and we don't just leave the ad running when, you know, we, we possibly could have turned it off. So mm -hmm. it don't matter what time of day I'm setting up an ad, no matter what time of day, what I always do is I always set the ad to go live the following day. So with today being the 21st, I would set this to go live on the 22nd at 6 a.m. Central Time, which this right here is, is your time. So 6 a.m. the following day. That way, Facebook has plenty of time to review it because once we confirm the ad and finalize it, it goes under, under review and Facebook has to review it. And sometimes it could take a few minutes. Sometimes it could take a few hours. I've seen it take a couple of days. Mm -hmm. So I just give Facebook plenty of time to review it. Um, and then again, all I'm doing is I'm running 10 bucks a day for X amount of days, but because I'm running multiple ad sets, I'm not going to have to micromanage that actually, because Facebook going to, going to, going to go with the winner right away. So after a few days, if Facebook notices out of your two ad sets, you got home Depot and you got the lows in a few days, Facebook, they're going to already know they're going to already know that the best cost per result, which is the, the, the cost per lead they're going to know within a few days that it's the Home Depot and they're just, they're just not mm -hmm. even going to bother throwing money at, at the lows. So Facebook does That's that nice part automatically before you used to have to do that yourself before you used to have, have to come in here and shut off those other ones manually yourself, but Facebook's just not going to put money towards it. So you don't have to worry, but at the same time, depending on a person's budget, you don't want to just not have an end date because you know, 
what if it just goes on for a couple months and you totally forgot about it? You know, so I would always put an end date. I would, I would run it out at least for sure. Seven days, like run it out for seven days for sure. But, but what I'm saying is in a few days, three, four days, you want to come look at it and you want to look at those numbers. You want to look at the ad sets. You want to look at the home Depot. You want to look at the lows and you'll see it right here on the dashboard in the second tab. So you'll be able to look at the numbers and say, okay, I'm getting way more better leads through the Home Depot. Let that one continue to run. And, and after the ad is already live, this part right here, the end date, let's say, for example, the Home Depot is giving you killer leads. You're getting, you're getting 50 cent leads and, and you're like, damn, let's double down. Let's, let's get that. Let's, let's keep this thing going. You can always come in and, and extend the end date. That, that will not affect anything. But, but what you don't want to change once the ad is live, what you don't want to change is the targeting. Don't mess with the age. Don't mess with, mess with the county. Don't mess with the interests and the demographics. Don't mess with the budget. Don't mess with any of that. Just leave all that as is. And if anything, you can always extend the end date and, and you won't affect the ad. Gotcha. Because that's what you'll want to do. You're setting it for seven days now just so you don't overspend. But at the same time, if the ad is going well, you may want to extend the, extend the end date. Okay. So let's scroll down. This right here is our custom audiences. So the, our audiences that we set up, click the box right there, search existing audiences. What you're always going to do now, this is your first ad. So there's not much in the audiences at all. As you start to run a few ads, these audiences are going to start, start to fill up. You're going to get people who schedule a call. You're going to get people who download the, the, the PDF. You're going to get people who come to the page. They're just website visitors only. They come to the page. They see your ad. They click learn more. They come to the page, but they don't fill out the form. You're going to have that audience start to build over time. So it's not until like maybe add two or add three where you'll, where you'll start putting in these audiences. And really, you're going to include... You'll always include from ad number two and on, you'll always include landing page visitors only. I always want to retarget those people. Anyone who lands on my page, but they don't fill out the form, I need to continue to get in front of them. Mm -hmm. So every ad I set up, I'm going to make sure I hit them. Now from ad number two and on, what I also need to always make sure I do, go ahead and click, click right there. Yeah, just click out of it, click out. Yeah, right there. From ad number two and on, what I for sure want to always do is exclude. I'm always going to exclude. I'm always going to exclude. Which one do you think? Click the box. Which one do you think? Probably going to go with people who downloaded it. Yep. I'm going to always exclude people who already downloaded my PDF, and I'm also going to always exclude people who scheduled. Yep. So those folks don't need to keep seeing my ad. And, and although every week it's going to be a different ad, it's still the same ad. I'm still trying to get people to download my PDF. That's all I'm trying to do all month. So even though that's going to consist of different types of ads, I don't need anyone else seeing it or seeing it if they've already um, 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 fulfilled the, the action, you know, yep. so they've already downloaded. They don't need to keep seeing nothing. Okay. So that's that. That's the audience's. So we have our ad, we have our, we, so now we have, we have our budget, we have our, our, our scheduling, we have our, 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 uh, where we targeted, right? Did you type in uh, the county? You typed in the county, right? Go, go up. Yep, I think I did. Yeah, you did, right? Um, actually down. So there's the conversion event. There's the date. Okay, so we got that. We got the audiences. Scroll down. We got the, um, the, um, the, um, um, interest so click out of this click out there we go okay so right here the locations there the united states you need to change that so that's where you type in your county and that's where you'll stay man you'll just stay focused on that one area so you'll type it in right so, there where'd you go there you are yeah locations and what you'll want to do also is change Right above that, you see people, people living. living in or recently in. I want to go people living in. Okay. Scroll down. That's that. And then there's the age. There's the gender. 
And then we, we did our targeting. Boom. Not sure age Actually with actually. housing, with housing, you cannot change the, the age or the gender. Okay. Yeah. With housing, you cannot change age or gender. So that's fine. Scroll down. Okay. So there goes your home improvement. Scroll down. And then you can always change the language as well. If you want to target, if you want to really, really be specific and make sure that this ad is only seen by people who speak English, then you'll yeah. want to edit the, the all languages. Um, if you want to just target English, which I would, I would probably do if I were you, I'd probably just type in, type in um, English and then English all, and, and that's it. Okay, perfect. And then scroll down, automatic placements. You'll just leave it on automatic placements. Facebook, the difference is, do you know the difference between, well, I'll just, I'll just tell you. Automatic is when Facebook places the ad everywhere, like everywhere, everywhere. And what I mean by everywhere is go ahead and click on manual placements. This is everywhere. So if you scroll down, Facebook is gonna place the ad everywhere on audience network, in the messenger, on Instagram, all over these news feeds. If you scroll down, scroll down all over the stories, all over the wow. in-stream, all that stuff is cool. But at the same time, if, if the budget, if we're starting smaller than bigger, then, then we're going to just go automatic. And we're not even going to worry about unchecking any of these. We'll just let yeah. Facebook, we're going to leverage Facebook. Facebook's going to place that ad where, where it's seen the most. That makes sense. So, just go with automatic. Don't even worry about unchecking anything. So that's that part. That's the second tab. Okay. And, and if you click on show more options, I don't think there's anything else down there, but click at the bottom, show, show more there. options. Okay. So conversion window seven days after clicking or one day after viewing, you could just leave it, leave it by default, whatever is there by default, you could just, it's safe to just go ahead and leave. So at the very, very top, we, we, we named it 20, 21 through 65, which actually you can delete that because we can't, it's 18. 18 yeah. We can't, we can't choose the age. Um, so 18 to 65, that County home improvement is the keyword. Perfect. So now we hit next. That's the second tab. That's the second step. And now this is the last one. Here's the third and final, final step. The actual, the, the actual, actual ad. ad. So when it comes to video, when it comes to video, what I always do is I put that video, I post it on the business page first. Okay. That way it can always be there. That video can always be there. And, and, and even when I come and shut off the ad, the video is still on my business page. When it comes to an image, you'll just set it up here. Okay. So, so scroll to, is that the very top? Yeah, that's the very top, right? Okay. Yeah. So, so if you look below, yeah. So add name. That's where that name would be specific. Either the video, the name of the video or the type of video or the name of the image or, or, or who's in the image. You know, that is where you want to be descriptive is in the title. So you can name it whatever, whatever for now, but that would be the name first of ad. first ad, first ad video or first ad image ad, whatever. Yeah. And then whatever so it's going to be. Perfect. First ad video. So there's the, there's the Facebook page it's coming from. There's the Instagram account it's coming from. Now, if you hit that, that drop down, create ad. So you'll have create ad and then you'll have use existing post. The use existing post is when you have a video. So when you have a video, mm -hmm. put it on the business page first and yep. then come over here and use existing post. Yep. Okay. Now, if it's not a video, if it's an image, then you're going to go create ad and you'll just leave it at that. So let's just say it's not a video. It's just an image. Let's, let's just do create ad for now. So click on create ad. And then here you're going to go single image or video. You'll, you'll click on that and then you'll click on, um, scroll down and then right there where it says add media, that's where you'll find the image. So you'll okay. grab it from your computer and yep. you'll just simply upload it there. So just grab anything. Add media. There. Yeah, you'll add image. And then, and then in the top left, you'll just click on upload. Oh, there you go. And you can, always, you can always grab one from Facebook as well. 
So if you don't have gotcha. an image here, you can always pull a professional one from Facebook. This is a fun one. Yeah, so click on that. But when you upload it, it's gonna sit here and then you gotta choose it. So go ahead and okay. click on it and then continue. Okay, so, so again, on image, grab it from your computer. On video, post it on the business page first. Yep. So here is the image now. Now all you're gonna do is you're gonna write out your text right below it. There goes the primary text. So you'll just write out that text, write out whatever. And then what you're going to do is if you scroll down, scroll down just a bit. Just thinking. Come on. There we go. There we go. Okay. So you have the you have the text. Let's see, scroll back up a little bit. Just a hair. This, this thing is causing it to go slow. I can't move right now. Oh. Okay, there we go, right there. So you have the primary text, you have the headline, and you don't need a description, it's really just the text and the headline. That's what you want for sure. Yep. The text, watch, just go ahead and type out anything random, and then, and then you got the headline, and then the description, actually now that I think about it, the description would be something good too. So put, it, put that as the, as the primary text, and then just write out the headline, write out anything, and you'll see it populate to the right. So go ahead and put anything right there. And then the description, just go ahead and, and, and put a bunch of letters right there in the description. And it just shows you to the right hand side what you're what you're typing out. Okay. So description, it's 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 going obviously a little slow right now, but you yep. see all that to the right. Yeah, mold is grass. Okay, so there there it is there. Oh. <laughs> so headline for sure, description for sure, because that's what it looks like yep. to the right. And then that website URL, that's your Karcher link. So go Come ahead, on, you. go ahead and, and grab your Karcher page, grab the landing page link. That link goes right there. Okay. And I think it's going slow. So all we're going to do is we're going to copy that and bring that over. So that becomes the learn more button. So website URL. That's how that's done. Yes. And what you're going to do also is the call to action button. So go ahead and, and choose that. The call to action button, you got learn more. And then if you hit the drop down, there's many different words that you can choose from, but learn more is the non-aggressive and, and the most clicked on mm -hmm. versus all these other ones. Get quote, get showtime, listen now. So there's so many different ones, get offer, but learn more tends to be okay. the, the most popular. Okay. okay. So that's that and then that's the probably better than download now the dis you could put you could put download um so, some people but, might not like that though yeah learn more is a little bit more non-aggressive and and more clicked on so i would just go with learn more but again you could test yeah, you could for sense. sure test you know so so that's that and then the display link like if you look to the right look at the image look below the image and you see the Karcher link, right? Right, right above mold is gross. Oh, yeah. To the right. You see that Karcher link? Yep. So the display link, you could put something different. On the display link, you could put humblehomeinspections.com. Okay. And that's what would show right there versus the Karcher link. Whoa. Yeah, so at least in there. Aesthetically, I mean, it looks obviously a little better, you know, to have that, have that there than that long Karcher link. Mm -hmm. um, but again, when they click on learn more, then they're going to the Karcher link. <sighs> okay. Yeah. I like that a little better. Yeah. It looks a little cleaner. And so yeah. that's that. So let's scroll to the bottom. So we're, we're, we're good with that. There's our pixel. So always make sure that that, that, but that uh, dot is green. And always make sure that says humble home inspection. That's your pixel. Mm -hmm. Now we're going to click publish. Now we're not going to go live with it. We'll, 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 we'll shut it off right away for sure, but let's hit publish. Now what we're going to do is we're going to set up 
a multiple ad set. This is going to be the first ad set. We're targeting home improvement. Mm -hmm. But all we're going to do now is we're going to come in. We're going to publish this. We're going to let it go through. We're going to put it in review. Remember, it doesn't go live until tomorrow, so it's not going to go live anytime soon. But we're going to shut it off in two minutes anyways. Okay. I'm going to show you this next step. So let's X out of this. So now, right there at the top, in the middle of the, yeah, X, that X right there above. Uh, I don't see an X. Right there um, towards, just go up, 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 up to the left. That oh, X. that one. There we go. That's a weird place for an X. Yeah. So okay. now everything is in review. So again, right here, we're in the third tab. The mm -hmm. third tab, that's the, the, the title, first video, first ad video. Click on the second yep. tab, and it says in review. Click on the second tab. This is scheduled. So the second tab already got approved. So the targeting, the, the, de the demographics, the, um, the county, all that's already approved. Click on the first yep. tab, and it's approved because it says scheduled. So yep. <sighs> click campaigns, and this scheduled. one right here is scheduled. That's approved as well. It's the ad that is in the approval process. That's in review. So as we're in review, as it's scheduled, here's what we're going to do. Click on the middle tab. Now, all we're going to do is set up a second ad set. This whole call was mm -hmm. about multiple ad sets. So yep. this is how you target. You're going to target one word at a time. So the second targeting... All we're going to do is we're going to hover right there where the title is, 18 to 65. Uh, duplicate. All you're going to do, no, wait, 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 wait. Don't click on anything yet. All you're nope. going to do is, is make sure, actually, let's, let's uncheck. Actually, you can duplicate it from here. Let's just duplicate. So right there below, duplicate. Yeah, we could do it from here. Okay, so now all we're going to do, the number of copies of each ad set, change that mm -hmm. one to two. Okay, and then click on duplicate. Duplicate. Okay, so now this is the second ad set. All yep. we're going to do is change the name at the top, the title. Mm -hmm. Or actually, no, 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 sorry. Take away the word copy and take away home improvement. Improved. And let's put in a second keyword and we may have to look for we may have to search for it first but the house hunting maybe what house hunting that's what it was perfect yeah there it is there so now we're scroll down and go x out home improvement and type in house hunting and you always want to make sure there's a drop down like just don't type in the word and think you're targeting it make sure you yep. see the drop down so let's uh, scroll right. down, scroll down, scroll down, and it's right below, should be right here. So detailed targeting. Oh, detailed. You went with mixed values. What the hell is mixed values? I didn't do that. <laughs> we should have double checked it. I think we might have by accident, but always double check it. Always double check it. I, I don't know how the heck we, we ended up with that, but. That's interesting. Go ahead and, and, and hit edit. There it is. There it is. Home improvement. Okay. I don't know why it says mixed. That was weird. But there's, there's the audience. Um, I had yeah, English so English, English all. English all. I guess mixed values is the new word that Facebook uses. That's kind of weird. But, mixed values because there's more than one maybe? I don't yeah, know. could be. But home improvement, I don't know why we was we yeah. mixed values there. Okay, so now we're going to get rid of home improvement and we're going to add house hunting. House hunter. All right, let's click back in here. And again, always wait till you see the drop down. Perfect. And then you're always going with interest. Always going with interest because sometimes you'll see job title, sometimes you'll see employer. No, it's we're looking for the interest. Always make sure that, that you're very specific on that. Interest, page. additional address. Yeah, interest. Right. So that's house hunting. Now click on publish. That's the only thing we're changing is the targeting, the keyword. Yeah. So now let's click on publish. That is how you set up a second targeting. So now we have 10 bucks a day that's going to go towards these two audiences. And in a few days, you're going to see which audience wins. The one that's losing, you shade that blue to gray. 
Okay. So let's X out of this one. We X out of that. Now, there goes our, our um, actually you created three. You created three. How did I do that? I don't know. I don't know how you did that, but. But it's okay. If you ever do that by mistake, you could just shade the one, shade the blue to gray, yeah. and then just just get rid of it. So so shade it there, and then and then um. And then uncheck uncheck that that one selected the blue the X to the right on the third tab. No, leave that one, but to the very very right. Don't click on the tab. Don't click on the tab. Just X out. Yeah, just X out. Perfect. Okay, cool. So now, if anything, you can just delete delete this this third one that you have checked. Just hit that trash can at the top. Trash can at the top. There it is. There we go. So delete that one and hit delete. Now you got these two ad sets. So now we got 10 bucks a day conversions going to these two ad sets mm -hmm. using that one image. Now, this is how you split test. This is how you run multiple ad sets. To split test the third tab, here's another, another form of testing. And you'll start to do more of this as your budget increases. When it's 10 bucks a day, leave it at just two and see which mm -hmm. one's the winner. But as you go from 10 bucks to 15 bucks to 20 bucks a day, that's where you eventually want to be. You eventually want to be at 20 bucks a day. If you could be at 20 bucks a day, you, you're going you're gonna to crush it, like really, really crush it. Um, you'll probably, that's probably the highest you'll, never, you'll ever need to really go in your business. Mm -hmm. um, but that's how you run multiple ad sets. The, the other form of testing which would be clicking on the third tab. So now let's click on the third tab, ads for one campaign. The second form of testing would be this right here. So because we set up the second ad set, it also set up a second ad over here. Mm -hmm. But if we wanna test this part as well, what I would do is I would change out that image or okay. watch, go ahead and hover over the second one hit click edit so here's here's how you how you run multiple ads we have multiple ad sets this is how you do multiple ads to do multiple ads off of that same ten dollar a day budget to see which ad is the winner what you can do over here there's two ways to test there's two ways to do it you can either change out the image yep. so let's do that let's change out this image so let's go down let's uh Go right, um, yeah, right there. Let's go edit image below the blue dot. Yeah, edit image, change image. And let's just go stock photo or, or upload from your computer, it doesn't matter. So here is, here, here is how you run multiple ads. You're either going to change the image. Okay, so change the image, go with that one, click on that one, click continue. And now we have a different image. Facebook is going to run for the next few days and, and see which image works best with which targeting. Mm -hmm. Okay. Wow. So let's wait for this to load. Okay. So this is how you run now multiple ads. So what we'll do, what we did is we changed out the image. Mm -hmm. That's one way to do it. The other way to do it, is to leave and that that would populate that will existing engagement won't be duplicated okay that that image should should update once we publish actually there it goes right there yeah, it's taking our time taking its yeah, time today it's time but don't worry about it because as long as you click it it'll be there but mm -hmm. one way is to change out the image scroll down a little bit the other way is to leave the same image on both mm. one on both ads leave the yep. same image but change the headline. Okay. That's the second way to run multiple ads. You're either gonna change the image or you're gonna change the headline. So in this case, the headline, what do you have? You had mold is gross. Maybe, maybe, maybe the same thing, but a different variation. Maybe, mm -hmm. maybe mold is the is the most nastiest thing in the on the planet. You know what I mean? Like yep. just a different variation of maybe saying the same thing. There it is. But 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 it's it's different. Gotcha, gotcha. That's changing up your ad without having to create a, a, a whole second one. It's all running off the same $10 a day budget. It's just going to show you which one in a few days. You'll just see which one is better, which ad is outperforming the other, which headline is outperforming the other, which interest group 
is outperforming the other and you'll just shut off the ones who the ones who which which is not performing yep okay so that's multiple ads and multiple ad sets man so finish up your calendar finish up the calendar yep. And then, and then, and then, and then I think our next call is just running through an ad, man, running through an ad. But that right there is, is how you do it. You hit publish, go ahead and mm -hmm. hit publish. That is the full setup of the ad. In fact, I think that's it. That's all there is to it. There is really nothing else to show you on the ad side, but here's what you're going to want to do. Here's one last thing. Here's one last thing. Go ahead and publish. Here is one last thing for sure. And then after this, if you ever need me, it'll always be to just look at whatever ads are running. So if you have some ads that are running and, and you need me to jump on to take a look at, for sure, reach out to me. We'll jump on. I'll take a look at what's going on. Or if you ever need me for Kartra, schedule the call. Mm -hmm. I'll jump on. We'll tear, we'll tear apart Kartra. But as far as anything else to know, there's really nothing else to know about ads. Um, you got everything down now. Now it's just time to, to freaking pour it on and start running them. Um, but let's X out of that real quick. There's one last thing I need you to do. Okay. Let's X out of the one selected, the blue, the one selected, the one selected. Let's X out of those. Oh, yep. And then let's um, click on the campaign tab. Let's click on that first tab. Okay. So now what you'll want to do is you'll want to shut them all off, but don't do it just yet, but you'll want to shade all the blue to gray. So, be, mm -hmm. so right when we hang up, go ahead and shade, up, shade all the blue to gray since we're not going to be running that as an ad, but that's the exact yeah. setup of an ad. But what I want you to do is I want you to make this um, column bar easier to read. This is your analytics. This is your dashboard. So what we have here is we have from left to right, we have campaign name, we have delivery, we have bid strategy, we have budget, we have results, we have reach. That's the column, but all those are not necessary. They're just, they're just not for what we're looking yep. for. We're looking for cost per lead. We're looking for the amount of leads. Um, so what we want to do is we want to customize that column. So when we come in here, we, we see the, the only metrics that matter to us, right? Mm -hmm. And that's going to be lead capture. That's going to be, that's going to be how many leads came in. That's one metric. The other metric is going to be cost per lead right? That's the other metric that yep. we care about. But these other ones, we don't really care about. Because if you take that bottom bar, scroll to the right, yeah, there's so many video average playtime, video percentage watch, three second video view. I don't really care about any of that. So, so we're going we're gonna to get rid of a lot of this. So here's what we do. Right there, columns performance, right toward the top, um, more towards the right, you see columns performance. It's a drop down right above the dashboard, right? Um, above um three second video oh. play column performance we're going to customize that column so scroll down to customize columns perfect okay this is the last part and then you're off to the races man so here's what we're going to do we're going to edit everything we see there in that column so to the right mm -hmm. we're going to x out a few different things let's x out impressions Let's, let's X out um, cost per result because we're going to have our own. Let's um, X out uh, reach. Let's X out results. Let's X out last significant edit. Let's X out um, engagement rate ranking, conversion rate ranking, X out the video views, the video plays, three second X out, video percentage X out. So now we're just cleaning it up. We're just getting rid of all the metrics that we don't care about right now. Three second video plays, video percentage watch, uh, video average playtime X out. Okay, so now we're left with delivery, ad set name, uh, bid strategy, budget, reach, quality ranking, even, I mean, quality ranking, I guess you can leave it. It's, it's, it's on a scale of one to 10. So when you look at your mm -hmm. quality ranking, it'll give you a number and that's based on how well your ad is, is, is set up, meaning how well it is to the exact audience that you're trying to target. Like if I'm targeting people who love the Home Depot, if I have a product for homeowners, why am I running an ad that has to do with toys? Mm -hmm. That would give me a quality ranking of zero. 
Yep. Because it's just a completely funky way. It's a funky ad. You're not targeting the right audience. Go back to the drawing board, right? That's what that quality ranking is showing me. So I guess that's somewhat important because you'll be able to look at that quality ranking and say, okay, cool. My ad is, 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 is it fits the criteria of what I'm targeting. Facebook's showing it to, to a good amount of people because my ranking is well on it because I set it up the right way. So I guess you can leave that. So here's what we're going to add. To the left, you'll see custom conversions. All we're going to do is add ours. So if you click on custom conversions right there to the left, you'll see the ones that, that, that you set up, which is inspection guide leads. So all we want is the total, check the box for total, and check the box for cost. That's what we want. And so now what you can do is you have that that was added to the right. Go ahead and drag it. Click and drag it to the top. So the cost to the right, cost per inspection okay. guide leads. Click that, drag it to the top, drop it, get the other one, drag it to the top. No, no, the inspection guide leads, yeah, to the bottom, bottom. Okay, gotcha. There we go, drag it to the top, perfect. That's all we care about, man. All I care about is, is, my, is my cost per lead and the amount of leads that I have. That's all I really care about, man. I mean, mm -hmm. what's it cost me per lead and how many leads came in, right? Like, let's just keep it simple, right? Yep. So, so go ahead and name it. To the bottom left, you see save as preset. So go ahead and check that box and name it. It could be anything. It could be, it could be, it could be my conversion ads or inspection, humble. Ins it could be, it could be whatever. It could be freaking however the hell you're going to remember. Humble conversion ads. Conversion. Perfect. That's perfect right there. Leave that, that works. That works. So click apply. Now you'll notice the column change. Yep. So now as you come in, man, you see those metrics right away. Cost per inspection guide leads and inspection guide leads. In my opinion, those are the, the most two most important metrics that I care about. Yep. Okay. So go ahead and bookmark this. Bookmark this page and, and, and go ahead and name it Humble Conversions. And so maybe every time, yeah, not maybe, but every time you come in to set up a new ad and you're getting ready to smash that green button, come to the bookmark page. Come to this page. Okay. And if you don't come to this page, then, it's, then, then, then that's fine too. Like, for example, if you click on the, the, the dots to the left, and you click on ads manager, that's going to just bring you out of this um, custom column. Mm -hmm. It should bring you out of the custom column. Let's see. And if it does, then all we do, because we set it. Yeah. See, so it brought you out of it. Okay, fine. So now if I go to the columns performance, if I just hit that drop down again, I'm going to look for the one that I just customized, the one that I preset. <laughs> And you'll see it right at the bottom. Humble yep. conversion. Yes. Always go with that one. That works. Perfect. And there it is there, my friend. You pretty much have everything down. You don't need to hire anyone. You won't ever need anyone to, to run these Facebook ads unless you just get super big and you don't got the time. Yep. But until then, you got, you're equipped with everything you need to know about, about running Facebook lead capture ads, man. That's the only ad you need, you need to focus on is conversions. Man, I'm glad you uh, walked me through that because that's a lot of stuff to that's a lot of stuff. try and figure out. Right? The setup is, is a lot. The learning curve is a lot. But right from mm -hmm. this point on, you, got, you, you, you just set up a live ad. That live ad right there would bring in leads. If it was the right okay. text, if it was the right yep. image, right? But that, that right there would start, start generating leads. So let's shut that off real quick. Turn that blue to gray and then click on the middle tab. Turn that blue to gray. Are those two blues to gray? Turn those two blues to gray, and then and then just do the the, the same thing for the um, for the third one. And in fact, if anything, yeah, I guess you can leave it there as an example, but you can always delete it as well. So if yep. you just click the trash can, it will just get rid of the entire thing. Okay. Okay. So so if anything, clean up your calendar first. Clean up your calendar, and then just yep. if you need me, man, schedule another call, and we'll go through the real ad live. You know, setup as yep. you launch a, a real ad. Yeah, that'd be good to have a uh, want to have stuff ready to run the ad to have it uh, 
have someone that's smarter than me to look it over and make sure it's let's do it, man. Let's do it. Yeah. Uh, go, yes, go for live sure. and such. So. And try to try to jump on the Kartra training calls as well, man. Even if you can't jump on live, make sure you watch the replays. Mm -hmm. Cause that's a nonstop learning process as well is, is, is Kartra. So yeah. I tell I was people on one last time. week and that was, is that, it's nice. You can ask questions to, yes, people. man. Yes. And even if you don't have any questions for you to just sit there for an hour, it's an investment of your time. It's worth your time mm -hmm. just to sit there and listen to other people's questions and listen to the answers. You're going to start learning a bunch of stuff that you weren't even thinking about. Yep. And so exactly. I, I tell my friends all the time, man, if you're building a business, especially a small business, a local business, Facebook ads and Kartra. Those are the only two things we need, man. Like if you're putting money at anything else and it's not showing an ROI, you need to shut it off. Any offline marketing, yep. any flyers or business cards, handing them out at the local events, all that stuff, man, is a waste of time in my opinion. If you're getting an ROI, okay, don't stop doing what you're doing. Mm -hmm. But the ROI can be much, much greater if we focused on, on Facebook ads, getting people this PDF, getting them into our landing page, nurturing the lead via email automation, getting people to schedule appointments that can run so much more smoothly at such a lower cost. It's not even funny. So that's what, all I'm saying is that's where you should spend your time as far as learning, always getting better with Facebook ads, yeah. but all, also always learning that back end, which is your cartridge system. So mm -hmm. you have me for cartridge training and you have these Tuesday and Thursday calls um, for cartridge training. Just make sure you're on those calls or at least you're watching the replay um, so you can continue to learn that Kartra side of it all. Sweet. Cool. That sounds good to me. Right on Dave. So schedule a call whenever, man, let's, let's run this first ad, you know, sooner than later, I'll be, a, I'll be a message away. Just schedule whenever, whenever you want and we'll go from there. Sweet. I appreciate the uh, time today. Definitely. Yes, sir. More, I appreciate you, man. Sense I appreciate of you too. what those three tabs were. <laughs> And such and, and setting it all up, it's uh, it took a little bit of the uh, scariness out of it, I guess you could say, but but uh, it's definitely coming together, and I'll, I'll probably go through it a little bit here over the next uh, few days, just to try to uh, go through it and try to have my brain process everything and all that good stuff. Yes, for sure, for sure. So I'll be a message away, Dave. Let me know if you need anything else. All right. Sounds good. We'll talk to you later. Okay, boss. Talk to you soon. Bye-bye. Yep. Bye. -bye. Bye.